If you're not walking into an A24 film expecting to be both disappointed and satisfied at the same time, I don't really know what else to tell you. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Green Knight. This is a film directed by David Lowry. This film follows Gwen, King Arthur's nephew, as he goes on a quest a year after having an encounter with the Green Knight to go and meet him on his own terms and to receive the blow that he gave to him meeting him one year prior. Admittedly, I was actually pretty excited for this movie when it was announced last year. I think it was even announced in 2019. Obviously, due to the pandemic, it was delayed from 2020 to 2021. And I'm a sucker for anything to do with the Arthurian tales. Anything to do with King Arthur, I've always been interested in. Whether it's bad or good, I always just have this kind of soft spot for that because it's some of the first stories I ever read about when I was a kid. So to see a different take on it, on the whole idea of knighthood and honor and being a noble man, noble knight, is always cool to see even if it's done in a very different way than most stories do and that's what this film does if you're going into this film expecting for some sort of swashbuckler or some sort of action medieval movie that's not what you're gonna get what you are going to get is a very thought-provoking very artistically well endowed visual film the cinematography in this film is absolutely top-notch the costume and production design the sets is very very well done the foley and the music are done incredibly well the green knight has fantastic sound mixing and the music is also very very good it pulls you into this very personal tale with gwen talking about the statutes of knighthood. Now, admittedly, I say that this story is an Arthurian tale, but unless you actually knew, you wouldn't know that this is a King Arthur story because it doesn't rely on that. It doesn't hold on to that. And admittedly, I was a little bit disappointed in that bit, which is a commonality for A24 films. It's not going to give you what you expect. Even if you think you know what you're going to expect, you never get what you expect with these movies. And I guess that's kind of the reason why I'm always drawn to them. Are they always great movies to me? No. I did not like Midsummer. I didn't mind Hereditary. I thought They Come at Night was quite boring. Those are just some examples I can throw out. That's what you get when you walk into these movies. You're not going to get the normal cinematic experience. You're getting an indie film with a pretty decently sized budget. I feel The Green Knight does take full advantage of that budget and it does it well. Is it a movie you're gonna wanna put on all the time? No, not entirely because a lot of the narrative is kind of hidden for your interpretation, but at the same time, it's also talking about the actual statutes of being a knight, friendship, generosity. Now admittedly I did have to look up a video talking about it and I would definitely suggest Think Theory. He has very good videos, very insightful videos about movies and television shows that require a little bit of mm, guidance along in terms of understanding fully every aspect of the film. But the instant that he mentions which I cannot remember right now, but all of the statutes of the star that the Knights of the Round Table have, they all coincide with elements of the story. And even without that knowledge, you still get that. Gwen is a knight who wants honor for the sake of honor, rather than actually doing what is the honorable thing, being a selfless, caring person. He has these abilities to do so, but he constantly fails in his travels while on the way to the Green Knight. Dev Patel's great. Dev Patel holds this character together because well, normally you would not really like a guy like this. And Dev does portray those factors. He does have a kind of a jaded character. You're not 100% on his side all the time. And there are moments in the movie where you just don't like him. And some of the actions he does are quite questionable and kind of scummy. You see him go through these changes and at the very end of the film you get this payoff, this sense of this journey actually meaning something. Now admittedly it does take a while to get there. This film does have an incredibly slow burn and you are for the most part held in because of the visuals from the landscape to the creatures and the beings and the things that he comes across to the people he meets along the way and the little challenges that he goes through. But admittedly, it is slow. It's really freaking slow. And then the end of the film, there's this kind of revelation slash sort of hypothesis that it gives that 
puts everything together and it made me really like the movie. I felt like everything that you would watch had really come to pay off at the end. That you had gotten a good sense of what the film was going for. Now is this a movie for everyone? Holy shit, no. I know for a fact if I showed this movie to my dad, he would be asleep within 20 minutes. In fact, if I showed this to a few other of my film friends, they would either one, love it, or two, think it's hipster trash. And I guess, technically speaking, they are both right in those senses. It's a great movie, but it's definitely not made for everyone. It's not a mainstream film, and it is a bit pompous of itself, but that's what these movies have to be to get that kind of message across. Either way, I would definitely suggest seeing The Green Knight if you are a fan of A24 films, or if you are a person who's drawn to them, whether you like them or not. Even if you don't like some of them, I would totally suggest watching it, because it's a movie you're not going to experience again, at least for a little while. So in the end, I'm going to give The Green Knight a 5 out of 7. I have some issues, particularly the rewatchability in this movie is almost none. The uh, kind of reliance on your interpretation of everything may be a bit heavy-handed but I did enjoy that aspect. The pacing is god-awfully slow and that it does hurt the film a bit and it, it kind of coincides with the rewatchability. But either way I did enjoy it. I've still been thinking about it and I watched it like a week ago so I can definitely give it points for that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.